and recording so i'm going to revisit arion um and what i decided to do after the last video i did is i'm actually going to do a playthrough of the entire into the electric castle uh album i was hoping to find a live version of this first song and by live i mean live performance um this one is welcome to the new dimension so i'm just going to do the actual audio because I couldn't find a performance. Let's see how this starts. of psychogenesis. This is the place of no time and no space. Do not be afraid, for I am merely the vocal manifestation of your eternal dreams. I am as water, as air, like breath itself. Do not be afraid. What's interesting as an introduction is that one of the videos I did previously was in the castle hall and it sounded really old school folky Britannia uh, King Arthur style of like song and like performance and singing and everything like that and this gives me more of like a futuristic kind of like uh, sound to it uh, both from like the fuzz behind the guy's voice and then also like the um, just the keys playing in the background the orchestral stuff this actually makes me think of the intro to the outer limits yourselves from this web of wisdom, this knotted maze of delirium, you must enter the nuclear portals of the Electric Castle. So I don't know if that w if I would consider that an entire song. In fact, it was all build up, and I was only gonna do that one. But now, Isis and Osiris. I think I'm just gonna jump right into the second song.
now that I'm a thief for all my sins I can't believe that this is God's creation This realm was fashioned by the deals in hand to stop it there i was trying to stop it before it made that switch uh this is more of what i was actually thinking arian was going to sound like based off of what i've already heard um the majority of that intro had like a real vintage led zeppelin kind of sound to it except for the like soloing kind of guitar over that that had more of like an early 90s kind of sound to it but I, I love the sort of genre mashing that's happening and like the different uh, decades that are sort of coming together. And this style of singing is very like operatic, but also like contemporary kind of uh, Broadway, if that makes sense.
portion right here makes me think of like Rush. And I only stopped this again so quickly after I'd done it before because I've made up my mind. I'm actually going to buy the DVD of this uh, performance, the live performance. Uh, I'm not sure if the live performance is going to be the same track list as this album. So I'm going to have to compare the two. But from this is the third song of Arian I've heard. And like I'm completely so like I want to support and I want to buy the DVD and I would just want to be able to experience the whole thing all in one sitting. Uh, as a channel, I have to do this one at a time, but I want to actually have the DVD. I want to actually like make an, like put away an hour, hour and a half, get like a some popcorn, a couple beers and just sit back and watch the whole thing. And I'm going to. So I'm going to buy this album slash DVD. No,
So I know in the live performance that I saw, uh, the DVD rip, it had Floor and her sister singing. Um, on the actual album, is it the same people, or does he get random other buddies of his uh, for the actual performances and just different singers and stuff for the video? Video um, for the actual album. Curious about that. So you know what's funny? That sort of like really bassy, heavy, elongated sort of sound there. Um, I've always uh, thought of that as belonging to like Hans Zimmer and like uh, like soundtracks. Uh, he does a bunch of movie soundtracks. What's the one I'm thinking of? Inception. The Inception sort of like wah kind of thing. So it's interesting that this is from 1998, so like well before then. So did Hans Zimmer steal that? Um, this is one of those songs where I'm entering it knowing it's not a song song. This is a piece of an overarching uh, sort of concert or sort of uh, performance kind of deal. So I'm hearing it and appreciating it in a different way. Uh, a lot of the guitar work that was happening uh, was you have your heavy, chunky kind of riffs, but there was also a lot of contouring happening to sort of um, leave open space for the actual um, words that are pushing the story forward, the narration, but it was contouring. It's just sort of in the periphery of everything. Lots of extraneous so sounds, uh, songs, a uh, lot of extraneous sounds to sort of uh, add and elaborate to the narration that's happening. Sort of like the birds chirping, all that kind of stuff. And it was more of a mashup. The, the entirety of this song is kind of like a Led Zeppelin rush. And then like metal elements thrown in there as well. Like I could, I can. I'm trying to think of other bands that that sounds like, but Isis and Osiris, this didn't necessarily give me like a, an Egyptian feel. And then um, the Castle Halls was more like Britannia, King Arthur. So is this album going to go from like ancient Egypt to like uh, the Middle Ages to like the present? Because I, I think... I did the Eye of Raw, and that was the closing song to that. But I don't know if it was part of the album. So does it go Egypt, Middle Ages, back to Egypt? I, I'm I'm so curious. I'm so curious. Like I I don't have like a lot. I don't have a lot to say about the actual musicianship for this because it was all excellent. So the only things I can say about this are just like story wise. And so I'm trying to figure out that beginning the intro sounded like it was either like starting in outer space or from like another dimension and you're transported into 
ancient Egypt. And that's where the story begins. That's what I'm assuming is going to happen. And then you're going to work your way up towards the Electric Castle, which would be in the Middle Ages. I wish this was a lyric video because I wasn't paying as much attention to the lyrics as I should have. Ah, and, and I'm also just like overly excited about this because I enjoyed this a lot. So like I'm, I'm trying to stop myself from listening to the next song because I have to do a different reaction video for that. Ah, <laughs> That, that's where a lot of the confusion in my wording is coming from, is that my mind is telling me to say things, but it's also telling me to play more. So, like, I'm battling within myself to not actually continue listening to even more. So I'm just going to end it right here. That's all I have to say. <laughs>